Hello, welcome to C Sharp interview question and answer video series. In this video, I will be talking about the exception handling in C Sharp. What is exception? Exception is unintentional error occurred while application is running by the user. For example, an attempt to read a file that does not exist or trying to read a database table that does not exist. What is the advantage of exception handling? Exception handling helps to assess system health. Showing unhandled exception to the user is not recommended. That may lead to security loopholes and hackers will be able to see entire structure's information and that may lead to application hacking. At the same time, genuine user might not understand the exception messages and that may look little irritating. There are three blocks of exceptions, tab block, cache block and finally block. Tab block is the place where you write your business logic. If at all an exception occurs in this block, that will be handled in the cache block. In the finally block, you write the code to release the memory resources. So next question is, can we have only tab block? Answer is no. We cannot have only tab block. There must be at least cache block or finally block or both. We can know that an exception in C shop inherits from the system dot exception. Next question in the queue is, can we have multiple cache block? Yes, we can have multiple cache block, but at a time only one exception block will be executed. Next question is, what is difference between throw and throw ex? Throw preserves structures information whereas throw ex replaces the structures and just gives current structures information. It is recommended to use throw instead of throw ex because throw will be giving you accurate structures information so that you can debug the code to find the exception root cause. Flipping to Visual Studio. This is our console application. In the interest of time, I just created one text file. In the text file, I've just written, Hi guys, welcome to C-Shop, interview question and answer video series, hashtag code with Akhil. I want to read this file from my console application. So I'll make it a stream reader. SR equal to new stream reader. And I'll just give the path. Let me open this file and open its path. Right click, open containing folder, and I'll just copy this path. I'll just use at the rate. If I don't use at the rate, you can see compiler started throwing the error on recognized escape sequence. Now I will just try to read this file dot read to end and let me print this for printing this I'll use CW tab tab shorthand for print shorthand for console dot write line and at the end I'll just close this stream reader if I talk about the stream reader you can right click on it and go to definition It inherits from text reader. Again, go to definition. At the end, it is inheriting from I disposable interface. What is I disposable interface, and and when do we use using keyword in our code that I will cover in upcoming videos? Now, let me just run the application. This is straightforward code, and I am able to get my output. Let me wrap this line of codes in try cache block. For implementing the try cache block, you can use try and then tap tap. You can see it will give you the skeleton for try cache and finally block. I'll just cut this code and paste it here. And this is the finally block. Now let me rename this file. Ideally, it should throw some exception. Let me put the debug point here. Let me run the application. F10, F10. You can see an exception has been thrown. Stack trace is something which gives you the information from where the exception has occurred. You can see exception has occurred from the line number 16 in program.cs file so that we can debug the code to find the root cause. Irrespective of any exception occurs or not, 
finally block will be executed always so let me write code here operation completed inside the cache block I'll just handle the exception file does not exist let's run the application you can see exception will occur at this point because file does not exist and we handle the exception and it comes to the first finally state block. that even if exception occurs or not the finally block will be executed as you know hello one file does not exist if i run this application i'll be getting the exception so let me write another cache block file not found exception fx and insert this and the cache block some generic exception occurred an exception in c-shop inherits from the exception it inherits from system dot exception it inherits it inherits from system dot exception now in this scenario file not found exception block will be executed if some other exception occurs which is not handled it will come under this block let's run the application you can see this is more precise exception block hence it got executed and finally block is executed at the end thanks for watching this video have a nice day